What's going on people, it's KC from www.kc-sounds.com So in today's video I'm going to show you a quick 808 and kick mixing tip I've just made this beat, I'll run it for you So what I like to do and what I normally do is um, I like to create some space for the kick to punch through before the 808s or the bass hits but what I'm using, whatever I'm using. So <clears throat> what I do is I'll zoom in and I'll hit alt and arrow key on the keyboard and nudge it 3 or 4, 5, 6 milliseconds forward. Three, four, five. So what this does is allow the kick to punch first and then the, the 808 will come in afterwards. So this is what it will sound like. For me, it sounds like it gives a kick some uh, space to breathe and hit first. Um, I like it. You can use the tip if you want. I think I got this tip from um, Dave Pensado of Pensado's place, and I know a lot of other people use it as well. So if you're not using it, maybe try it out and say you get on. This is what it sounds like before. is after I like doing that I think it's a cool little mixing tip like I said if, if you want to use it in yours productions you're mixing go ahead if you like the video hit the like button if you want to subscribe and keep up to date with what I'm doing hit hit the subscribe button and I appreciate your time thank you for watching music is life peace Casey, Casey, Casey.